In the paper that I got a chance to look at, there's a section on uh, ethical considerations. What's in that section? What are some ethical considerations here? Is it some of the stuff we already talked about? There's some things that we've already talked about. Um, I think specific to diplomacy, you know, there's there's also the the challenge that the game is, you know, there is a deception aspect to the game, um, and so, you know, have, developing language models that are capable of deception is, I think, a dicey issue and something that, you know, makes research on diplomacy particularly challenging. Um, and, you know, so so those kinds of issues of like. Should we even be developing AIs that are capable of lying to people? That's something that we have to, you know, think carefully about. Uh, that's so cool. I mean, that you have to do that kind of stuff in order to figure out where the ethical lines are. Mm -hmm. But I can see in the future it being illegal to have a consumer product that lies. Yeah, yeah. Like, like your personal assistant AI system is not a lot. Is always have to tell the truth. But if if I ask it, do I do I look? Did I get fatter over the past month? I sure as hell want that AI system to lie to me. Mm -hmm. uh, so th there's a trade-off between lying and being and uh, being nice. Yeah. We have to somehow find <laughs> right. where's the ethics in that, and we're back to discussions inside relationships. Anyway, what were you saying? Oh, yeah, I was saying like, yeah, there's yeah, that's kind of going to the question of like, what what is a lie? You know, is a white lie a bad mm -hmm. lie? Is it an ethical lie? Yeah. You know, those kinds of questions. Uh, Boy, we return time and time again to the deep human questions as we design AI systems. And that's exactly what they do. They put a mirror to humanity mm -hmm. to help us understand ourselves. There's there's also the issue of like, you know, in these diplomacy experiments, in order to do a fair comparison, you know, what, what we found is that there's an inherent anti-AI bias in these kinds of games. So we actually played a tournament in a non-language version of the game where you know we we told the participants like hey in every single game there's going to be an ai and what we found is that the humans would spend basically the entire game like trying to figure out who the bot was and then as soon as they thought they figured it out they would all team up and try to kill it mm -hmm. um and you know overcoming <laughs> that inherent anti ai bias is is a, is a challenge um on the flip side i think when robots become the enemy that's when we get to heal our human divisions and then we can become one. <laughs> as long as we have one enemy, it's it's that Reagan thing when the aliens show up. That's when we we put our side, our divisions, we become one one human species. Right. We might have our differences, but we're at least all human. At, at least we all hate the robots. No, 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 no. I think there will be actually in the future something like a civil rights movement for robots. I think that's the fascinating thing about AI systems, and they, is they ask, they force us to ask about ethical questions about what is sentience, what is, uh, how do we feel about systems that are capable of suffering or capable of displaying suffering? And how do we design products that show emotion and not? How do we feel about that? Lying is another topic. Are we going to allow bots to lie and not? And where's the balance between being nice and and, and uh, telling the truth? I mean, these are all fascinating human questions. And it's like so exciting to be in a century when we can create systems that take these philosophical questions that have been asked for centuries and now we can engineer them inside systems mm -hmm. where it, like you really have to answer them because you'll have transformational impact on, on human society depending on what you design inside those systems. It's fascinating. And like you said, I feel like diplomacy is a step towards the direction of the real world, applying these RL methods towards the real world. Uh, from, from, from all the breakthrough performances and Go and Chess and StarCraft and Dota, this is this feels like the real world. And especially now my mind's been on war and military conflict. This feels like it can give us some deep insights about human behavior at the large geopolitical scale.